And there was one Linda Bird meeting, I believe, they cancelled due to the amount of people there. Um, I think I think it was last year. I'm not too sure. Uh, last year was in uh, what was it, Spain or Greece? I believe it was in mm -hmm. Spain. No, I don't. I don't believe they cancelled. I believe they were there, and that's where Kissinger and all these other uh, elites were actually pictured being there. Because I know some people actually left. Some of the elites left because they were scared of the people outside. Yeah. And I, I don't know what I think it was last year that it happened, but I know that happened. Um, <clears throat> what would be your message to people about, you know, obviously we want to wake people up yeah. to what's going on. What's your approach? What way do you approach it to wake people up, to educate them? What's, do you have a special way or what would, what would you do? Yeah, listen. Listen to people. Instead of forcing information down their throats, see mm -hmm. what they think. Mm. See what they believe, and, and you'll be able to learn from something from them as well. Mm. Don't think you know, you know. Don't think like you're the supreme holder of this like holy grail. The oracle. The oracle. Yeah. Try to listen to people. Try to understand them, and you'll learn a lot more from that as well. And at the same time, open up the door for them. Say, look at this information. This is interesting. Mm. I think it's thought provoking. Let me know what you think about this. Mm. And I think that way is a lot more productive than saying. You better research this. They're all going to kill us. The nylons, this and that. You know, and and um, that approach has worked very well uh, with my friends and my family, and also random people in the streets that I've been talking to uh, almost every Saturday at Ground Zero. And all you have to do is just open that door, and if they want to walk through it, they'll walk through it. If they don't, don't force them because they'll be they'll be turned off by the information. But also, one important aspect of it is not to make them afraid of this information. Yeah. Uh, fear is a very negative emotion that's used against us many times to control us and we can't do the same. Uh, we have to show people this information in a light where people could understand it, uh, use it to their benefit. Uh, knowledge is extremely important mm -hmm. and to make sure that we don't get fooled again like we always did mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's always key to just give us, give people the information and the truth and the truth is the light. The truth is the truth. The truth yeah. is the light. Um, when it comes to, we know what the problem is. What's your solution? What do you feel is the solution? Well, it depends on, on what kind of problems we're talking about. There's many problems in the world right now that exist. My major uh, kind of forte, my major thing that I like to talk about, I like to deal with is the mainstream media. Uh, David Rockefeller, even in a Bilderberg meeting in, uh, I believe, Germany in 1991 said, you know, thank you to the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal because if it wasn't for these media guys not covering us, we wouldn't be able to do what we did. And that's extremely true. I butchered the quote, by the way. But you know, you can help yeah. yourself. Yeah. yeah. And and the mainstream media to me is a major problem because they can not only control your emotions, they control the flow of information, they control what's in your mind, and they control almost everything. And if it wasn't if the mainstream media would just do their job, we wouldn't be in the mess we're in right now. Mm. And they failed us. Mm. So my main thing is not just pointing fingers at the mainstream media and complaining, saying, do your job, please do your job, why aren't you doing your job? My main thing is like, all right, they're not doing their job, well, I'm going to do it for them. Mm. And now many people are saying uh, grassroots, independent journalists are becoming the mainstream media. Yeah. Look at the views on YouTube, look at the hits mm. uh, that the mainstream media websites are getting compared to the alternative media that are not corporate sponsored, that are not uh, backed by the pharmaceutical and military industrial complex, we get a lot more hits than they do mm -hmm. because we're shown unbiased, uncorporate, un there's no political influence within it. There's just video, live video, unraw, uncut for you to see and for you to make up your own mind instead mm -hmm. of some nice looking girl with a whole bunch of makeup on her face, reading a nice teleprompter telling you what to believe in. Scripted to teleprompter, yeah. Oh, exactly. So. What's uh, Luke Kudeski and We Are Change plan for the future? One day at a time. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I'm just going to take it one day at a time. I know there's always things changing every single day. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep busting my butt, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to keep confronting people. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep sharing information as much as I can, and I'm trying to uncover uh, exactly what's happening for the people, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm here to go up to politicians and to ask them questions that the mainstream media would never dare ask them. And that response, the questions, the, the answers that we get, is very critical to our to our uh, life and, and our future. And uh, what's the future hold for, for us? 
I think more we are change maybe more more sites. I think more. Really? I think more positive. I, I I think I'm very optimistic. I think positive things will come. I think the future is going to look good. I think more and more people are going to wake up. And what I hope for one day is instead of me being in a press room by myself asking these questions, I'll be joined by 20, 50 other people, and the whole press room would be filled with people asking the similar questions that I am. And these elites won't be able won't be able to get away with this because of the public scrutiny, because of the public eye on them. So what I hope for is to motivate activate and educate more people to step in that direction and to follow their own path and to, to be the change that they want to see in this world. So do you feel in the next two years we are, we are going to have a heart but there is light at the end of the tunnel? Oh, definitely, there has to be light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, I, I believe we're very much in charge of our own destiny, our own future. We go where we want to and I don't think no one's going to stop me from doing what I want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I know my path is to go up to all these nefarious people, look them in the eye, and to let them know that they're not going to get away with it, mm. and to and to get information out of it, and and that kind of I don't know. Socrates was kind of big into this. To find out the truth, though, you have to do is ask questions. Do you feel yeah. that um, one of the things that's quite common that a lot of people we speak to is they have this natural urge to do this. Now this is an unpaid job and yeah. sometimes it's thankless, you know, and you get abuse or you might get people calling you different names, but something inside in your in your soul drives you to do this. It's a, it's, a, yeah. it's a drive. Do you feel that yourself? That you just you're driven to do this? Yeah, I mean I mean I wouldn't be doing this I'm not doing this for money or, or for my yeah. health because yeah. I'm I'm not making either or yeah. But I'm doing this because I, my heart tells me to do it. Uh, I don't have a boss. I don't have somebody looking over me telling me what to do. I don't have anybody controlling me. I do what I feel is right and uh, thank God people listen. And thank God people see it and thank God people online support me. And I have a bunch of people that watch it. That's the only thing keeping me safe right now is that there's a large number of people watching the videos. Uh, su supporting me, praying for me, and keeping me in their thoughts. And uh, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be as well off as I am uh, spiritually and, and, uh, and not financially, of course. Yeah. But what keeps you going? It keeps your energy up. Um, yeah, I mean, life is short. You got to do what you love. Yeah. And this is what I love. This is what my heart. This is my passion. And I'm not going to stop doing it. And uh, no one's going to. And you should always follow your passion. Well, I have to say that yeah. you are in the Southern Independent Master Plan event today, um, and your your speech was brilliant. The, the the your videos and what you showed us, and we had a good laugh as well, um, at what them guys were doing and what you were doing with the the money. So, I think you're doing a fantastic job. Fair play to, um, what you're doing, and I hope what you're doing go, keeps going viral. I hope there's more websites that get yeah. set up, and we are change. And um, maybe you might consider moving off to Europe. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a little bit weird here. It's, it's it's definitely different than America. Who knows what will happen? Uh, maybe one day I'll be reporting here in Ireland full time. But uh, well, you've made a good few friends here. I think you know yeah. it's a case that you came over and stayed for a week or two weeks and then flew back or something. I think you've made the connect. Hopefully, we've made a connection there with people over here. It, it's very important to make a connection and uh, to talk to people because overall we all want the same thing. Mm. But there's a huge divide. There's a huge uh, public uh, perception that we're all different, that we all hate each other. Mm. But in real reality, we're all human beings, we all want the same things in life, mm. and, and we all strive for freedom and liberty and, and truth and love. And It sounds corny, but it, it, but that, you're right, that's, that's really yeah. what it is. Yeah. And I think if there's more communication, there's more networking, there's more us coming together uh, worldwide, we could be a lot more successful than we yeah. are. Uh, separately fighting our own battles. So. Well, there's more of us than them. Yeah, this is what I found out about this whole European tour that this is not only a, uh, an American resistance, but this is a global resistance against the tyranny that's happening here. Uh, and will you report that back when you back, go back to the States? I'm already, re I'm already reporting that right now. For Everything's going back and you're getting your footage and everything. I'm getting my footage, footage out. That's why I'm not sleeping because I'm editing 3, 4 o'clock at night the video footage and I have to export it and upload it and, and do all that. So that's why I'm, I primarily haven't been sleeping. You can check out my YouTube channel and see all the latest videos the I've videos. been doing. Well, yeah. listen, thanks for coming over and no thanks problem. for being with the Southern Independent. 
and thanks for doing the interview for OAM uh, Radio as well. Yeah. Um, hopefully, when you go back to the States, we might get a chance to get you on Skype and get an update on what you've yeah. been doing. When you go back and have, you know, have some sleep and have a <laughs> rest. But thanks for the interview. Much appreciated. Well, thanks for having me. It's beautiful here in Ireland. And it's great being around uh, good people.